Today we are going to show you a keto day of eating, but it is going to be a zero carb day of eating. So this is our version of zero carb. So if you're interested in what someone eats in a zero carb day of eating, make sure you follow along. And we have also previously done a whole month of carnivore. <laughs> and if you want to see how that went, I'll pop a link up um, for that video because that was an interesting month. <laughs> Now, first of all, I guess with zero carb or carnivore, it's kind of, I don't know, I'm seeing it around a lot online at the moment. And when we were even in Boulder, there was a carnivore conference on, can you believe yeah. it? Um, but I guess we'll just start by saying there are like various levels of how people do carnivore or zero carb. Um, I guess one commonality is like really limiting any plant plants. products so you're really right? taking plants away from your diet yeah so they're people who are super strict carnivore all they have is red meat and salt that's it that's not for us <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be sustainable even for a day or two for us it'd be tough i think but yeah. people some people have had amazing results in like their medical conditions and stuff so it's definitely interesting I think like seeing people's experience with it then there's probably the next level which is like incorporating more animal products so like fish and chicken and eggs and that type of thing but still no plant things um, and then there's our level <laughs> level three let's call it so we're going zero carb but we so we do all sorts of animal products including, including dairy. dairy products yeah. And we include salt and pepper. Um, what else do we include? That's tea and not, coffee. Oh, tea and coffee. Yeah. Um, when we did our carnivore month, we did include mayo as well. That was one of our exceptions. And I think that really helped keep it a bit more sustainable. Yeah, and us. we also include some spices some just, just to, to add a bit of flavor. Up, yeah. When it was that longer kind of month. Yeah, so I guess it's not technically zero carb because there are some carbs from... You know eggs dairy products and some from like herbs and spices and stuff yeah. but it's pretty low carb it's very very <laughs> low carb no plants that, like we're really. going with zero carb we're going with zero carb <laughs> it's pretty much like an animal based eating yes way yeah. of eating we are now just going to have our breakfast which is our first meal of the day <laughs> today and we're going to anyone do... else get excited about eating <laughs> <laughs> Um, we're going to do halloumi with some scrambled eggs. Yep. Yeah, scrambled, scrambled eggs. eggs. Yeah. So um, we'll head off and get that ready now and we'll show you what that looks like. We're super lucky in Australia because halloumi is very readily available. I didn't realise how lucky we were until we went to the US. And you can't get it everywhere. I mean, I don't reckon you can get this in most supermarkets. Would do you reckon, Dan? Yeah. It's and like there's options. It's not just one. Even our supermarkets have their own home brand of like halloumi now. <laughs> Halloumi's awesome. We're just gonna slice it up and fry it in a fry pan. Also, um, normally at the start of the week, I cook up a whole heap of like kind of pre-cook a whole heap of bacon so that. We can have that as part of our breakfast during the week and it's super quick and easy. And there's two lonely little rushes left over this week, so we'll add those into our breakfast as well. So I'm going with a soft scrambled egg today, which makes it really nice and creamy and delicious. We have a blog post on our blog. We'll put the link in the description below on how we make them. But we've just got some butter I just melted some butter in the pan. I put the eggs in. I didn't put anything else in with the eggs. And now I'm just kind of doing it on like a medium heat, stirring it. It takes longer to do than a, like a dry scramble, but it's worth it in my opinion because it's delicious. Breakfast is ready. Erica makes really good scrambled eggs. <laughs> so we've got scrambled eggs, halloumi, and a slice of bacon each, and zero carb. Okay, we have been working, working, <laughs> working in the kitchen, doing some recipe videos, 
It's Saturday afternoon. Now Netflix time. We want to sit on the couch <laughs> yep. and veg out and watch a movie. But we thought we might like a little, little snickety snack. snack. So what can you snack on when you're doing zero carb? Some awesome things that you can make yourself very easily are cheese crackers yep. or salami crackers. We have videos for both of those. They're super easy to make and they're like a nice little crunchy snack that you can snack on. Um, but I've rated the snack drawer <laughs> to see what we've got. So some options that we have here are these epic pork rinds. These ones just have salt, pepper and pork. So perfect for our version of zero carb. We can get these on iHerb in Australia. So we'll put a link in the description below if you're interested. We also have some of these cheese crackers that we bought back from the US. These ones are just cheese, um, but there's options that you can get at the supermarket and at Low Carb Emporium yeah. in Australia that are just cheese as well. And then we also have these um, uncured bacon and pork Yum. kind of bites. So Delicious. there's plenty of options there. I think there's jerky. It would probably depend on what the ingredients were. Yep. Um, but yeah, there's certainly plenty of options if you're looking for a little zero carb snack. Let's go sit on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just about to start on our second meal of the day. So we're just going to cook up a couple of steaks and we're probably just going to put some butter on top no sides or anything just straight up steak that i'm going to cook on the barbecue so i'm ready to pop this on i've just heated the um, grill up Simple dinner, <laughs> just a steak, and we've got some of this garlic butter that we've put on the top. Um, I'm always happy when it's something that Dad cooks on the barbecue because that means I don't have to get dinner. <laughs> Smells delicious. So this is it for our zero carb day of eating. I hope this helped you give you some ideas about what you could eat if you were trying to eat zero carb um please give this video a thumbs up we'd really appreciate the su support subscribe to our channel because we've got loads more videos like this coming out with keto recipes and our keto travels thank you so much for watching bye